Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, Slightly Eccentric and the Diplomats of Dope. Today we're going to be talking about how to save money, <laughs> how to save money by buying a battery that's more expensive. Let me explain that concept because it's a little bit strange. New rule on the, uh, or suggested rule on our website, if you see me in a hat and a casual shirt, we're talking about casual stuff, saving you money and everyday stuff. If you see me in a suit, we're talking about serious stuff. So just to let you know the delineation, I'll be putting categories together. Um, one section will be about canvas, one section will be about saving money for seniors, one section will be about diet and exercise, one section will be about nutrition, you know, stuff like that. So look forward to our new format. It's going to be a lot of fun. Today, I want to show you or, or, or tell you about what we did for our my wife's car. We have an older car, 2008, and it's got, it's, it doesn't have a lot of miles on it, but we've put a, a couple of batteries in it. And um, batteries are important to a car <laughs> because if you don't have the proper voltage or if you don't have the proper electrical infrastructure, it actually affects the fuel, inject fuel injectors of your automobile. We learned that the hard way. We had a uh, Acura Integra, and the alternator was not charging fast enough to keep the battery charged up, and the battery slowly went down and down and down, and it stranded us. And we came to learn out to find out that if you don't have a strong signal from the battery, it doesn't send a signal to the fuel injectors, and the car just runs horribly. So as soon as we put a new battery in and fixed the alternator, the prop the, the issue was solved. So. We went down to Costco, and uh, I've had glass batteries, um, AGM batteries. They're called AGM batteries or red top batteries. There's another f name for them, or they're called yellow top batteries. All they are is a gel battery. Now, it, what's the difference between a gel battery and a lead acid battery? Think about a bowl of jello. And if you shake it, it's a little bit wiggly, but it won't usually spill out the sides because it's jello. That is like a, a glass pack battery or a gel battery as opposed to a glass of water, you shake it and the water is going to spill out over the side. Gel batteries are superior in many, many ways over lead acid batteries except price. <laughs> They're about 50% to 75% more. Now why? It's because gel pack batteries give you better cold weather performance. Um, I noticed on our battery it says 600 cold cranking am amps and then underneath it it says 100 cranking amps for reserve. So I, I don't know if I've ever noticed that on a battery, the reserve cranking amps, but apparently this battery has 700 cr cold cranking amps. Now, the gel batteries, I have found that in my previous cars, they offer superior performance, as long as your alternator's in good shape, right, to, to charge the battery. Um, they give better cold weather performance. They actually tend to last longer. Hmm? And in some cases, they can, I've heard, that I, I don't know this, it can give you better fuel economy if your battery is not sending the electrical, the proper electrical charge to your fuel injectors and your fuel injectors get a mixed signal electro electrically and they can, they can burn more fuel than you needed them or wanted them to burn. So um, there's a couple of things about these new gel pack batteries, not, there's not new, but there's a couple of things that you need to know if you're going to buy one of these gel pack batteries. One of the best places to get them is Costco because of the price. So. You cannot uh, charge a gel pack battery with the same charger that you charge a liquid acid battery. And I'll show you. I have a what they call a Genius uh, G3500. Now, this particular battery charger has a circuit in it that goes out to the battery and says, are you a gel pack battery or are you a lead acid back battery? So this, says, this has a little button that says um, AGM for gel pack batteries. So it knows if you hook it up to a, a glass pack battery, a gel battery, it will automatically have the intelligence to say, ah, different battery, I'm going to charge it differently. These, this is important because you cannot, what you can't do is you can't use one of these little char chargers on a glass pack battery. You will damage it eventually. It's very, very hard because they, they have a different charging infrastructure. They have a different electronic circuitry, slightly, and you cannot use the battery. Now, here's what I did. I like to take care of our cars, especially in cold weather, and we don't get a lot of cold weather in Abbotsford, but the times that we do, I don't want my wife to have to go and have a car that's dead. So I went out 
And uh, years ago, I've, I've been using these for, you know, on both our cars, a battery blanket. So this is the battery blanket that you wrap around the battery, and then you just plug in. And it's, in my opinion, almost better than a charger because a charger will excite the plates, sure, but it doesn't warm the battery. And cold weather kills the battery faster than anything. So with this uh, battery blanket, I plug it in overnight, and by the time my wife comes out to go in the morning, the battery is nice and warm, and it's held its charge. See? So we're dealing with weather. Cold, cold weather will affect batteries more, faster than anything. Um, electronically, your battery, your car battery, is supposed to discharge at 1% per day. So you don't drive it for 100 days, your battery should theoretically be flat. So if it loses 1% a day, that's, that's the thing. A better battery, because it's going to last longer, better cold weather performance, and in the long run, we feel it's our little tip and trick from Slightly Eccentric and the Diplomats of Dope. We'll see you next show, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.